I hope all is well with you today. My name is Susua and the item of the week is hat. Before we begin, if you love these fashion videos and you hate to miss an episode, then hit the subscribe button because there is more to come. head coverings which are worn for so many reasons like protection against weather conditions like the sun, rain or the cold, ceremonial reasons such as university graduations, religious reasons such as turbans worn by Sikhs and the bishops and priests wear mitres in the Roman Catholic, Anglican and other churches, safety reasons such as the hard hats worn by construction workers and also the firefighters and lastly worn as a fashion accessory now let's talk about fashion history according to my research the earliest recorded fashion hats were called bonnets around the 1850s these hats were worn mostly by older women other styles like the tiny hats and bolter hats became popular afterwards lately hats could be compared with headscarves the difference is hats are already made and hair scarves could be worn in different ways. Hats are versatile and they suit any season and can be added to any look or outfit. Whether it be a wool fedora, bowler hat or even a flat cap, top hat, polka pie hat, straw hat, men can instantly pull a look together with any of these. From timeless floppy summer hats to casual, urban chic caps, women flat caps, fedora women hats, straw hats, Bolero hats, wide brim hats, women can wear hats for every occasion. Hats are obviously unisex and just to name a few because I think I can go on and on. <laughs> but let me ask you, is a fascinator a hat? <laughs> Tell me in the comment section below. Are you a fan of hats? Which kind of hats do you wear most? Or which one do you like to see people wear? <laughs> Let everyone know in the comment section below. See you on the next episode. Bye.